So ladies and gentlemen, today we want to create e-portfolio. So on this e-portfolio, we'll create using Google Sites. So you'll go to the browser of your choice. For instance, I'm using browser. So I'll go to, sorry, I'm using Chrome. So I'll go to Chrome, then type in Google Sites. I already, I already had it, so you type Google Sites, then you pick the first option. So once you pick the first option, you'll go to the blank site. Go to the blank site. Once you're in blank site, this is our first page or our home page. So in our home page, you can add details. For instance, if this student is Ken, we went to create an uh, e-portfolio for Ken. So the page title, you can have the student name. So for example, so your name is Ken. Kesa. Uh, the registration number, the council registration number is zero one, sorry, zero one two zero one or nine P stroke, let's say ICT six stroke twenty twenty three stroke zero zero three. So there we go. Once we are there, once we are there. So once we are done with that, we can now add other details. For instance, this attached site can still have the name and the registration number. So we can have Ken Kesa, right? Ken Kesa, then the registration number the same. So is uh, for instance, this is the one that we are having. Just copy. So I'll copy. Then here. I'll do the pasting. So th that is that. Then we can also have the image of the students. So for example, at this point, I have the image. So I'll upload the image. I'll upload the image. I'll upload the image. So I'll go to, let's say, my desktop and see if I have a dummy image. I can have this. Then I add to see the image of the student appearing at that point. So as per council requirements, there are other details that are created when creating a portfolio, the normal filing that we do. So I'll click on the content blocks. Maybe I had, for example, uh, let's say KCSC certificate or result slip. Let's say certificate or result slip. Result slip. Can be added there. So if you want to also to add another one, for example, we can click then we can say, let's say the student post passport. So we can say passport, right? And so I many is depending on the council requirements, all these can be added at this point. So our interest is to have the units of competency the candidate will do so that we're able to store that portfolio that we have, that portfolio on, uh, on this is on this book. So we'll go to pages. Then once this uh, pop-up appears, then you create here, then click on a new page. So let's say we are having a unit of competency called Manage Database Systems. So I'll have Manage Database Systems. So let's say this uh, unit of competency is going to be done in three terms. So for the summative, so we'll click here, we'll come back to this Manage Database. So here, then you see add a sub page then say, let's say, term one, right? So that is our first term. That's the first term. Again, here, add these three, three, three dots, it's called the hamburger. Then I add some page. Then let's say this is term two, term. Then you can also have, again, the third term. So you add a sub page. Then we can say this is term three. So in these three terms, they also cut. So term one, there's a cut one, maybe cut two, because that's continuous assessment test, then you have the first formative. So we can decide to add this here. So for instance, if it's term one, so I'll click here, then I say add sub page. So let's say this is cut one. Then I say done. Then let's say we come back to this term one here. Remember that you are creating this sub page within the term one. So the handbag again, add some page. Let's say this is cut two. Sorry, let's say this is cut two. Then we say done. Then we have that formative, yeah, the end of term, which we call formative, uh, formative exam. So we can add a sub page. 
then we say formative formative one for meaning for term one then i do what i click done so once you have this so we have all, all these data. if you go back to pages you see you have the first unit of competency so this one can be done on other units of competency let's say create, let's create another unit of competency so i'm just on pages then i can create another page let's say there's another unit called digital literacy digital literacy so with this digital literacy you see you have another what? unit of competency so let's say you have another unit of competency not on some page sorry escape this so uh, click these are uh, this this sorry so i'm having a problem somewhere so let's say we have these two units of so for this term one when you get term one then you can go to here and get the third one so when you click on this one you will see this so it's for this one and this one and this one